Community Viewpoint with John Pollock and Maria Hurst. And welcome once again to Community Viewpoint. Having a wonderful time before the, uh, the, the set uh, was completed. But I'm John Pollock, your host once again. And uh, it's getting nice outside. And we want to take this and get outside and enjoy the rest of the day. So we have a special guest with us. Uh, she's been on here a few times before in different, um, different capacities. She's had her own show, too. And my friend and co-worker, uh, Francie Win Winters, uh, from the Nye Community Coalition is our guest today. Uh, welcome, Francie. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Always a pleasure to be here. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to be talking about what you've been doing day after day after week after month. It's something called methodologies yes. you've been working with. Yes, but we won't do the whole day after day, month after, because I think that would get really boring. Yes. Yeah. She but puts the her heart exciting and soul parts, in it, though, folks. <laughs> the exciting parts are, like, for example, the, the thing we're going to bring uh, today, the show, is something called Runaway Balloon. What we do with the Methodologies Project is um, we get youth. Uh, this year we're just doing the Prump Youth, but in different years we've done Tonopah Youth and mm. Beta Youth as well. And, and we, we do youth forums, we find out what their issues are, and then we create um, pieces of art, media, live theater, murals, um, art galleries, um, to, to allow those young people's voice to be heard or seen, depending on that media, and, and, um, and to you know, throw some light on those issues. And uh, we have some really dedicated kids. We have a kind of a small group this year, but. But they, um, they learn to edit. Uh, we have a wonderful AmeriCorps they're working with, uh, Anthony Janes. And they, um, they learn to do the camera work. And um, this particular piece is um, uh, animated. I, the kids didn't do the animation. But a, a wonderful young man did, uh, did the voiceover for it. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's quite powerful. So if, if we're ready, I'd, I'd love to have you play that so then we can talk about it. Can we do that, Noah? We have okay. the technology. There was once a balloon who felt alone even when she was in a crowd. She told herself she felt that way because she was different. She didn't look different. She didn't sound different. She just felt different on the inside. No one knew she felt that way except her closest friend, the string. The balloon loved the string. They shared everything. But sometimes, it seemed like the string was holding her back, keeping her from flying. So she had to stay in the same place. Sometimes when she got frustrated, she shouted at the string. But she didn't really mean the things she said. Then one day she got so mad that she pulled and pulled and pulled away from the string and all the other balloons that she knew. And she left that old place. But everywhere the balloon went, there were strings. Some were bright and shiny, letting their balloons fly high, but then bringing them back down close to keep them safe. Others were dark and dirty, and didn't seem to care that there were pointy objects and sharp edges out there in the world that could hurt a balloon. The balloon began to miss the string and all the other balloons it had known, realizing that her old attachments had been what had kept her safe. Now she would have been happy to go back to that old place but dark strings had attached themselves to her, and they held on tight so that she could not get away. She was their prisoner, and they would not let her go. They pushed and pulled her this way and that, letting her be punched and slapped 
and handled in dangerous and cruel ways. Sharp edges and pointy objects were everywhere. And one day, the balloon popped. Oh, that was very... Uh, Serious? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, it Josh is, yeah. Little did the voiceover, mm -hmm. and I, I think he did a phenomenal job. Uh, we had several different voiceover versions, and they just never had quite the effect, the effect that we wanted, and his finally did, and, and it just brought it all together. And um, It gets your attention. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're just really proud of it. Um, you know, you, you, we don't necessarily think of, of trafficking or running away being a, a big issue up here. The running away part is we have girls. I used to work with girls in, in, in juvenile probation, you know, girls groups. And, you know, girls would think, oh, you know, things are bad here, so I'm going to run away. And they would think they're going to run away to Vegas and everything's going to be really great. And Vegas, the, you know, the Strip is a major place for um, girls to get lost. You know, um, young boys, that can happen as well, but, but the majority mm -hmm. of them, as it said, are, 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 are runaway teens, uh, women, and children. And um, uh, the, the streets of Vegas are a very dangerous place. And uh, I just think it's important for our rural youth to understand that all of their problems are not going to get solved by, you know, go going to Vegas. You know, it, it is a, a big city with, you know, all the glitz and glamour, but all of the dangers as well. And it's... You know, it, it, it's, it's scary stuff to, to because you, I heard girls say, you know, this is what I'm going to do. I'm like, no, no, you don't want to do that. So that's kind of where it came up, you know, people talking about running away. Mm -hmm. And we felt like this was really something that they needed to understand. And right now there is so much um, more focus going on um, in, in, in the world that's coming towards this idea about let's talk about the gorilla in the living room, you know, about the way that our, our women are being treated and our young women are being treated. And um, um, so I, I'm really welcoming that dialogue coming out now. Uh, they had a thing on the Grammys where um, President Obama actually was on the Grammys and said, you know, here's, here, let's, let's, let's make a pledge. Let's, you know, all agree that we're going to, um, you know, as artists, we're going to lead the, direct, the, the people in a better direction on these issues and, and not promote violence to women and those kinds of things. And, and I was very proud of them. It was, a wonderful, uh, it was a wonderful Grammy show. There was a lot of you know, social consciousness and a, and, and a lot of awareness that uh, made me feel very proud of artists these days. And, mm -hmm. and you know, that's what we try to do is we try to help young people. They may not go on to become, you know, um, professional artists or you know musicians I say artists in whether whatever media that is but um, um, I think it's still important for them to have that concept of, of what I do and what I say uh, makes a difference and, and and to try to get them involved in the community so that they see that you know their vote their voice it, it counts it makes a difference you know and uh, so that's kind of what the Methodologies Project does, and, and we're just finalizing the show for this year and getting ready to set off on tour. We will tour uh, to, um, uh, um, let's see, the first one is Round, Round yeah. Mountain. Round Mountain. Yeah, in March 13th, and then we're going to go to uh, Tonopah, to the mining camp. They have a little theater there, and we're going to get to really? perform in the little historic theater cool. there. Yeah, on the 14th, and, um, and, then, uh, and then we come home. And then we're going to go out to Amargosa and, and, and do their school. We haven't been there in a number of years. So mm -hmm. we're going to go and, and, take a, and do a performance in the school, uh, which is the kind of thing we do a, a lot of, actually, um, school performances. So mm. that's kind of our tour season. And um, everybody's working hard. And uh, we're going to have the kids in here a little bit later. Yes. Some of our kids. Yes, yeah. and, and the next sec segment. Yeah. section. Yes. So that's what's up on tap for this year. 
yeah. with the methodologies. And in the past, you've done a, what? What else have you done with the methodologies? When oh, you we went have, on the road. Yeah, we've done art galleries that, that we've toured around, and we've done. Um, we, we we had a partnership with the High Desert Film Festival, mm -hmm. and you know we, we we did that where we made a, a little short film. If you go onto YouTube, you can see the t Family Twilight Zone uh, or any of our others, our other YouTube you know presentations. We have a lot of them. Do we know somebody that was in? Uh, yeah, we do. Noah. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. The famous Noah Bacon. Yes. yes. Yeah. He did an awesome job. He started with Methodologies Project. Yes. Well, he didn't start there. He was, you know, already walking and talking, and he had a <laughs> quite a great deal of uh, talent. Uh, we were fortunate enough to get him early mm -hmm. on in his career, you know. Yeah. So we, we've got a lot going on at the Coalition, though, right now. Um, everybody's getting ready for yeah. the Hope Run and just a lot of things like that. Yeah. The Coalition does a lot. And, we do. And to, to and for so many, many people. And we've been a part of that, uh, well, myself, for the last couple of years, and you for a couple of years too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and before that, because the West Care was part a coalition member as well. So, you know, we, we're all part of the coalition. That's what makes it so powerful is right. uh, there's so many partners in the community. And when we all come together, then we make differences. So we had a lady come in from Vegas, as we often do, you know, to, to come to a general coalition meeting, which is the second Third. Wednesday. Third Wednesday. Third Wednesday. Because it's next Third Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. Uh, of the month. I suddenly had a, like, mm, not sure. Um, and she came and she was so impressed by the number of people at our meeting and the, the number of things that they were all doing, you know, when we work with food sustainability and um, the, the job, the workforce, the Job Connect stuff that we do. Um, and um, we have phenomenal opportunities uh, with the, the job, uh, the adult workforce and youth. The youth, youth? Yeah. And yeah. our so, um, AmeriCorps you know, members too. That are yeah. attached to the uh, well. There's COVID? training opportunities. They oh have a, a, quite a good amount of, uh, of funds and stuff for helping people, you know, get get retrained if they're unemployed or underemployed. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the youth, I love the youth that work with us. On um, we have them in uh, yoga classes uh, because that's part of the whole, you know, try to help their health thing and um, uh, help them, you know, de-stress and have tools for the future. And so we have a, a yoga class for the. Youth works kids once a week, and, and you have it for the old people too. We do, we do. We have <laughs> yoga for the the, the senior set, and yes. um, some of our seniors that were in gentle yoga have now moved up to a, a beginning mm -hmm. yoga class, and uh, very excited because they can actually do sun salutations now. And, uh, <laughs> no, it, yes. it, it's great. Um, our community partners can refer people into the yoga classes. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of health and wellness and prevention. You know, we do freedom from smoking. We diabetes do the, workshop. The diabetes self management, um, which is, you know, if you go to another community, that can cost you like $340 or something. But here, we're on a grant, so you get it for free, which and, is really awesome. And here, we'll see you in the next segment. Okay. Thank you.